Oakland merchants are threatening to strike. They say they'll close their doors for a day to protest hefty increases in parking fines and fees. Increases they say could put them out of business for good. ABC 7's Laura Anthony is live for us in Oakland tonight. Laura. Hi, Carolyn. Well, an emergency meeting is just breaking up here at the Grand Lake Theater. The merchants say the city council's efforts to raise money is sending the wrong message to potential customers and, in short, is killing their business. The, city of Oakland. the council members are telling us to eat our cake. Okay, there needs to be change and there needs to be change today. Angry Oakland merchants joined with dozens of community members for an emergency anyway, meeting to express concerns about their city's new parking policies. This is the depths of depravity that they're going to to get money. It's the parking meter rates have gone up 400 percent since 0203. July 1st, the Oakland City Council increased street parking rates from $1.50 to $2 per hour, extended the hours to 8 p.m., and launched an aggressive ticketing campaign of those who stayed even a minute too long. Here on once bustling Grand Avenue, there are now rows of parking spots wide open. Yesterday, I was here around 3 or 4, and you could pretty much pick the space that you wanted. We were in a hard place. But the Oakland City Council believes the higher parking fees and fines will generate $4 million per year in new revenue for the struggling city. Almost every employee has taken a 10% pay cut. Uh, we are just looking at every spot there is for revenue, but we do not want to jeopardize anyone's business. This is the worst thing we've ever seen. Business owners say whatever the city hopes to gain from higher fees will be lost when their sales plunge. It is no way to solve a budget deficit by driving businesses out of town because businesses are the most important revenue generator. And when you destroy business, you destroy your city. The merchants are so angry they're collecting signatures to remove the city council. They are circulating a petition to recall the city council. That's their democratic right. And those who shop and dine here in Oakland will start to see these hanging in store windows. It's a warning that some businesses will be closed next Thursday as part of a united protest against this new parking policy. The city council, for their part, says they will study the impacts of the new policy in September when they return from their August recess. However, some business owners told us that uh, they may not be able to last that long. In Oakland, Laura Anthony, ABC 7 News.